He says, had I possessed, had I possessed wealth, I would have acted like so and so. So if I have money, I will spend it for the sake of Allah. If I have money, I will build houses for Allah to be worshipped in. If I have money, I will join my relatives, my blood relationship. So if I have my money, I will do and do for the sake of Allah. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if it is his intention, so they are equal in rewards. Alayhi salatu wa sallam. So this second man, he will be in the highest position with the first one while he doesn't have wealth. Why? Because he has money and good intention. So it shows the importance of knowledge. And knowledge here doesn't mean the knowledge of Islam only. No, it, it means if you're a doctor, so you can serve Islam with your knowledge in your field. If you're an engineer, you can serve Islam in your field. If you're a taxi driver, if you're even a painter, so you can serve Islam in your own field. So these two kinds of people are in the highest position in the Jannah. The second two types, the Prophet والسلام, said, and a man whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given wealth but no knowledge. And this is the problem. He may destroy himself because he has lots of money, but he doesn't know how to spend his money, how to please Allah, his creator, alayhi salatu wasalam, with the money he has given to him. He said, sallallahu alayhi wa so he doesn't fear Allah concerning his money. And he doesn't join his relatives. And he doesn't acknowledge the rights of Allah, doesn't fulfill them. So he will be in the worst position in the hereafter, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the fourth one, subhanallah, the Prophet said, a person whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given neither wealth nor knowledge, subhanallah, he doesn't have anything. Nor in this dunya or in the hereafter. So what will happen? He will say, so had I possessed a wealth, had I possessed wealth, I will do, so I've been acted like so and so it means I will waste my money. I will not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are equal in the sin, as the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wassalam. So now we have four kinds of people, you have to, have to classify yourself. And here is the exact meaning of al-hasadu al-halal, which is al-ghibta. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا حسد إلا فثنتين. Al-hasad envy is haram. It's in general, it's haram. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم, beware of envy, because envy destroys the good deeds, and the fire destroys the grass, صلى الله عليه وسلم. But it's allowed in two cases. So if a man, he was, he has been given money by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he spends his money by the day and by the night for the sake of Allah, and the other man, whom Allah has given the Quran, and he teaches the Quran and applies it by the day and by the night. So you can envy this person. So now, look at yourself on the day of resurrection. If you spend your money for the sake of Allah, what will happen in the day of resurrection? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ تَصَدَّقَ بِعَدْلِ تَمْرَةٍ مِنْ كَسْبٍ طَيِّبٍ وَلَا يَقْبَلُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا طَيِّبًا So whoever gives it charity, what equals a date, only a date. So what will happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, will receive it with his right hand. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't accept but what is good and pure. لا يقبل الله إلا طيبا. Allah will accept it with his right hand. ثم يربيها له كما يربي أحدكم فلوه أو مهرة. And he will increase it to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as one of you increases or raises his horse, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hatta tasira mithla al-jabal, till this date will become like that mountain. You will find on the day of resurrection mountains of hasanat. And you won't be surprised when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah, I haven't given all of these money and charity. I haven't prayed a lot at night. I haven't fasted a lot in the dunya. So what about all of these mountains of hasanat? 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to you because you give in the dunya sadaqah which equals a date and I received it with my with my right hand and raised it to you till it became like this mountain you can see remember so it doesn't mean you are now asked to pay what equals the date for sure if you pay like what equals the date we will never build our new masjid but it's like encouraging you so now you can imagine if you pay lots of dollars what will what will you find in the day of resurrection then let's go to the quran quickly inshallah you will end with two ayat or so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us all what we have is from him subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah 7 qala ta'ala qul inna rabbi yabsutu ar-rizqa liman yasha'u min 'ibadihi wa yaqdiru lahu wa ma anfaqtum min shay'in fa huwa yukhlifuhu wa huwa khayrur raziqin say o muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his provision for whomever he wills from his servants and he restricts it for whomever he wills from his servants. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to whatever you're spending good, Allah will compensate it to you and he is the best of providers. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want a successful trade in this dunya and in the hereafter, a successful trade for sure all of us are looking for money and it's not haram money is the backbone of the life so if you need a kind of successful profit look at the saying of Allah in Surah Fatir إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَةِ وَأَنْثَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقُنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَبُوءَ Allahu Akbar. Those who recite the book of Allah and perform the prayers and spend from what we have provided them with secretly and publicly so they can expect a prophet which will never perish. Which will never perish. So it's a kind of trade, successful trade which will never perish. And inshallah I will end with the hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam we were doing like fundraising in our masjid, uh, the IOS Islamic Association of Saskatchewan, China. Um, and we were asking the people because we, we wanted to buy like a house which is close to the masjid to expand our masjid or to use it as uh, an institution or to help the children to learn about Islam in this house. So subhanAllah, we had like a long presentation. And then at the end of the presentation, we were asking, so who will pay the money for the, this house? So we will start to look towards each other. Remember the question? We will start to look towards each other. So, and suddenly we had Dr. Khalid, one of our respected brothers, one of our highly respected owner, the brothers, Dr. Khalid, I think is from Pakistan, used to come out and, say, and, and said, I will pay all of the money as a loan, as a qard hasan, and you can pay it to back, back, you can pay it back to me. So here I remembered the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, very beautiful hadith. He said sallallahu alaihi wasallam, دخل رجل الجنة فوجد مكتوبا على بابها الحسنة بعشر أمثالها والقرض بثمان عشرة ضعف. What does it mean? He said, alayhi salatu was salam, a man has entered the paradise. And here you have to think, how did a man enter paradise? And the day of resurrection hasn't come yet. So it means it's an example for what will happen on that day, for sure, undoubtedly, as the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu was salam. He said, a man entered, has entered the paradise, and the following was written, on the door of the Jannah, the charity, the sadaqah, equals ten folds or equals ten in equivalent. And the loan, giving a loan, equals eighteen, eighteen in equivalent. Which means for this brother, when he paid all the money for the masjid as a loan, 
He will be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 18 times. He will get his money back in this world. Yes, if you give some money for a person as a loan, he will pay it back to you. But you will be rewarded 18 times by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, we're sure now we will find some people like this in this uh, gallery, inshallah ta'ala. I don't want to make it all for you. وأقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم وصل اللهم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته